Hi, this is Scott. Uh, today I'm looking at the uh, PlayStation Mad Cats controller. If we can get that in the picture here. Um, it's USB, as you can see the MIDI out to USB. Um, it's not really a good, a good review because I've seen some of these reviews online. Whoops. And uh, really wasn't too thrilled with them. They did actually get me interested, though, into looking online into this. And basically, I've been playing around for the last several months, finding decent VSTs to download into uh, a control problem uh, program, a <laughs> control program called Cantabile Lite version 2. Um, a lot of these VSTs aren't standalones, and you need some kind of host for them. Um, the other hosts I found out, you could only put two at a time in there, and then it seemed like too much of a bother. So this Cantabile Lite, you could put as many VSTs in there as you want at the same time, and then just uh, switch back and forth if you want to. You can actually mix them to where you can play... Um, layer the synthesizers on top of each other but um, that's worked good for me but the VSTs I have have a lot of preset loads in them uh, most of them are like scientific sounds there's a lot of arpeggiator uh, patterns which are, are kind of good there's a lot of good sounding pads um, but like a lot of them um, not all, but there's some of them out there, and I don't know why the people even put them online. Their sounds are just junk. I mean, they sound like crap, <laughs> sorry to say, but the people come online doing their own reviews for their own software and saying, oh, this sounds fat. It sounds like a fat piece of crap. Every sound same zone, sounds almost the same except for a little variation, and... Uh, you know, that's pretty much all there is to it. But now, especially saying all that, I've had a lot of fun learning the real basics of just the USB to MIDI system on online here. And uh, with the Mad Cats controller for Rock Band 3, I found this um, about two Christmases ago. I was out... Um, actually shopping for other people. I found this in the store, and I remember when it first came out, I thought, wow, this is great. This rock band's got a keyboard function to it now. Uh, but at the time, I, and as of now, I didn't have the game system, an Xbox for it. I like playing around with the games at other people's houses, uh, at the Best Buy and other electronic stores that had... Uh, the rock bands out, I'd try to play them. And at the time, it was $60, $65 US for one of these controllers. And I thought, that's too expensive. You take that and think, well, I got to save up a couple hundred dollars for the rock band and then more for the software in the game. This one came without a game, and it was on clearance at a, at a GameStop. 20 bucks US, 20 bucks. And when I first got it, I thought, wow, this is really great. It had a, um, what was the thing? A wireless control adapter. But one of the first videos I saw said that you couldn't use this wireless for the purpose that I wanted it for, which was a controller for a VST or a digital audio workstation like Fru Fruity Loops. That's the one I use right now. That and a, a Magic, I got a copy of uh, Magic Music Studio a few years ago that was like on clearance rack for like $15. I picked that up. And then once I found out about MIDI to these other softwares, I was really looking to get this. And when I saw it at GameStop for like $20, I said, okay. When I went to try to set it up and learn how to do it, it didn't quite work all the time. And then when I finally learned that you look into the MIDI setups to, for this, because uh, it's USB, I had to go to Guitar Center and buy a USB adapter 
for the MIDI, which was kind of expensive and uh, a little bit more than I thought it should have been. But now um, things are working good. Uh, right now I've got to send a cannibal. You can just hear a basic. It's like a piano, some type of piano sound. Um, it's working really well for me. Uh, of course, like everybody knows or have said online that they can't figure out what this little D-pad does. And I think it's something for the game only. So I'm not going to be like other reviewers and say, oh, this is for something, but I don't know what it is. If I do that, I'm sorry. And I'll get back and put it on another review. Uh, I'm going to have this on... Uh, keyboard MIDI and a VST playlist for this channel. Um, you've got two octaves, basically. I'll give you a technical rundown real quick. you got a ribbon control that controls modulation, and you have to push this button down here and use the mod, uh, the mod strip for pitch bend. To use pitch bend, you have to push this button down, and then you can run your finger down or tap it to do a little like a little tremolo type deal. Um, sometimes a strip bar and certain softwares uh, takes care of the LFO or other effects. It just depends on the way their software is set up. I haven't got into the software mapping situation yet uh, as far as MIDI mapping and how this key is controlled by a signal through that key. That I'll have to work on in the future if I want to advance any, but as of right now, I'm doing okay with the equipment I have and the software I have and the way that I'm going about it. Now I just want to kind of find some keyboard involved synthesizer 70s, 80s sounds that I can play around with, find the little notes online, and then replicate that. Um, okay, so this is the neck, a guitar. I still haven't put the strap on it and tried to rock out like a guitar player, but here it is and we're getting a little long okay this is two octaves one two you got you got five uh, black keys and five black keys so this is like a 25 15 20 25 okay it's a 25 keyboard two octave keyboard the d-pad I don't know what it does some softwares it may do something for the game it definitely does and for this the little piano button doesn't really do anything as <laughs> yet that I know of the little buttons but the buttons over here okay are kind of 50 50 you got two buttons here that are the horizontal buttons which are uh, one and B control the octave so if you have middle C and push it up it pushes it up to the next C the next C and down whichever way you're going down the keyboard these two buttons here the two and the A actually in some softwares not in all because of the way they're set up some of my VSTs have done it to where you push these buttons it controls going up and down on your patches to your different sounds in your menus of your VSTs which is kind of interesting but there's really at this time that I know of no way to do patches that you want to do you just do the other two there's no way of saving a favorite as far as I know and then you got the MIDI which goes in from the keyboard into the computer and then of course it's battery powered or USB powered you and why you even have batteries in this because you're gonna be playing it through a computer or many other source anyway to where the computer is gonna be controlling so I, I I don't even know why there's batteries in it except for the game when it's wireless, you have to have this controller on. So that's the only reason for batteries. Uh, we're getting close to 10 minutes. I just want to keep it short. I want to tell all the people out there on the East Coast, U.S., here in the Midwest, we got another snow. 
and I hate it. <laughs> but this is the beginning of, I'm just letting you know I'm interested in the guitar thing, uh, synthesizer thing, so it's just a little video of it. Get bored. Uh, put some good comments below. Uh, tell me what you want to know. If I don't know it, I can find out for you. If you know something that you seen a mistake in the video, just say, hey, I can help you with that, or you're wrong. Uh, no reason to be abusive, but if you see something that you don't quite get, or that I might have passed over, just hit the comment. Like me on this channel, share it on Facebook, do whatever you want. But I just wanted to get on a quick video here. I've been gone for a while. I've been spending pretty much these snowbound days <coughs> here in Illinois between shoveling snow and staying inside trying to get rid of the cold. So you guys have a good day, and uh, we'll see you again. Um, this uh, channel has multi-interest and is going to go farther with this. Um, so if you're not interested in the Asian music scene, you don't have to watch those videos, uh, cooking or other things like that. But if you just want to BS about uh, MIDI and keyboards and uh, performance uh, controllers and software, let me know if you see something, especially if it's free, drop me a line and say, hey, I've got the coolest thing that you probably don't know about. Why don't you check it out? Okay, well, this is Scott for Osaka Ben, the Osaka Ben 10 channel, and everybody out there in the world, have a good night, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, now I just have to learn how to turn this off now. <laughs>